understanding the value of energy. In the next few minutes, I hope to give you a new perspective on the critical topic of energy. This short video explains all that energy does for us and why we can't do without it. Climate change, of course, has been dominating the energy conversation. I'm a believer that man is contributing to climate change and concur that we need to reduce our carbon emissions. However, the public push has been primarily focused on banning fracking and eliminating the production of oil and gas. That is dangerously backwards. The focus needs to be on reducing our use of carbon energy first. Even electric vehicles still run primarily on carbon energy. And until we quit needing oil and gas, it would be devastating not to have the fuel available. So let's take a realistic look at the importance of energy in our lives and the challenges we face with an uncertain energy future. The bitter rhetoric portrays carbon energy as evil, which isn't a fair assertion. The truth is, carbon energy is the underappreciated workhorse that brought us out of the dark ages. Before the steam engine was invented in the early 1700s, you were the source of energy. If you wanted something, you made it. If you wanted to eat something, you grew it or killed it. There were 600 million human beings on the planet, and life expectancy was a mere 29 years. Today, on the other hand, one farmer can feed thousands. And with clean running water, electricity, a warm home, and medical discoveries made possible by energy, the average life expectancy in the U.S. is now close to 80. But now that we can feed the masses, and everybody lives much longer, we have 7.5 billion people making 15 billion footprints all over the planet. And every single person needs energy to survive. So given the dilemma of climate change, from where is all that energy going to come? Let's first put a reliance on energy in perspective. Most have seen the science exhibit where a bike turns a generator and lights up a light bulb. Can you imagine how many people it would take to light up your house, the air conditioner, washer and dryer, all the TVs and computers? And if you think gasoline is too expensive, put a gallon in your car, drive it till it runs out, then push it back. At $10 per hour, the equivalent cost for man to do the work would be $5,000 per gallon. Further, petroleum is the base material for many of our needed products, from clothing and medical supplies to makeup and toothpaste. The bottom line is that energy is cheap and it makes our lives awesome. The reality is that energy use has not ruined the planet, but has actually led to a cleaner environment. The foulest living conditions on the planet are where people have little, if any, access to energy. In addition, our economy is tied directly to our energy use. Based on GDP per capita, America is five times as productive and five times as wealthy as the bulk of the world. However, it takes five times as much energy to run that economy. That is because literally everything you have and everything you do takes energy. Even a cotton t-shirt was farmed with diesel tractors, milled in a natural gas-powered factory, and trucked to a department store where you drove in your car to buy it. The bottom line is that our lives as we know them are 100% dependent on energy. In the future, the world will need more and more energy to bring billions of people in the third world out of poverty. In 2017, approximately 10,000 people died in natural disasters, while 1.6 million people died from lack of clean water, which takes energy to address. Further, many millions more died from cooking on dung and wood instead of clean burning propane. The environmental activists are all very concerned about the future effect climate change will have on the poor of the planet. Perhaps the activists should be more concerned for the dire present situation of billions of poor people. Back to the question at hand. Given the conflicting priorities, from where will all this future energy come? For that discussion, please see my latest video, The Math to Net Zero. In closing, mankind is certainly better off because fossil fuels were discovered. So no matter how murky our future may look, nobody really wants to go back to life without energy. The End of this video, anyway, if not the debate.